So check out this 200 pound pallet that got delivered today. That happens to have a 50 watt CO2 laser inside of it from a company called G-Week. And as you can see, there's quite a few things you can do with this thing. But before I was able to do anything with it, I had to get it out of the crate. And right on the top of everything, there's a honeycomb cutting surface. Along with a certificate of quality. But under the foam is the actual main event of this whole thing, the laser itself. And with some help, I was able to take this out of the box and put it onto my workbench. And this is definitely a two-person job. The whole top of this machine is all glass, and it's nicely protected for shipping. Inside the machine itself, it has a little quick start guide. There's also more packing foam, with some exhaust ducting for the machine. So with all of that out, you can see your entire work area now. And this is going to help with cleanup, as your cutting things are going to fall through the honeycomb cutting surface onto this tray. And of course I need to remove all the plastic protection pieces on the glass. And the honeycomb cutting surface is easy to install, it just kind of slides into place from the front. It does also come with this box, which is dual purpose. It is a filter and the air pump for the air assist. And it also comes with a replacement filter. And if you open up this panel, you can see that there's an air pump in here along with a fan. And of course I need to remove this plastic. And the top of this is actually acrylic and not glass, like the rest of the machine. And there is a diagram on the back of the machine that shows you how to set this up. And while we're back here, I can show you the pass-through port. And to use it, you just need to remove this little gasket. And then on the other side of this, inside the machine, you can see where the hole is to pass things through. So with everything all set up and plugged in, let's turn it on. And as you can tell, it's kind of loud when you turn it on. And that's all the air pump. So let's check out the laser head itself underneath this magnetic cover. So you can move the focus up and down with this little motor, and this rubber hose next to it is the air assist line, and right here is a mirror that will redirect your laser into the lens, and then out into your piece. As you can see, this moves quite a bit, so you're going to be able to use this on multiple size materials with no problem. The laser head and the y-axis are all running on linear rails as well, so movement should be very smooth on everything. And because this is a CO2 laser, it is liquid cooled. And you can see the blue liquid inside of the laser tube at the back of the machine, and it goes all the way across to a radiator on the other side. And there is a camera on the inside part of the glass lid, so you'll be able to see your entire work area. And this machine did come with a bunch of materials that have this little QR code on them that it scans and knows exactly how to cut it. And you're not limited to just materials from them. You can use whatever you want, you just have to manually set everything up. And when it comes to actually controlling the machine, you have a few options. The first one is the actual cloud software that the company made to work with this machine, which you can get to by just literally going to their website. So I'm just going to go over to the cloud tab, and inside of here you can upload new files or see old projects. There's also an absolute ton of already made files on here that you can just download and use for free. As an example, I'm going to make this bee earring holder. And as you can see, everything is listed out on the side here of what material you're going to use, how thick things are, and what size everything is. And loading it all into the work area looks a little something like this, which is all line patterns in different colors. And everything in red is going to be the cutting function, and the blue is going to be engraving. But anyways, I'm going to put some of the wood that was supplied with this in here. And because I can actually see the wood, I can move my pattern up to make sure it's going to be on it. And like what I talked about before, I'm going to have this scan the QR code, and up in the materials, it's going to switch over to 3mm wood and change all my settings accordingly. And all that's left to do now is send it over to the laser and have it do its job. And after a few minutes, everything is all done and nicely cut out. And now all I need to do is take out the parts and glue them all together, and here's the finished product. And if you didn't like this wood color, you can always stain or paint it. One major upside to this laser is you're not stuck using just their cloud software to run it. And I'm able to use a program called Lightburn and just plug it directly into the laser. And this program is a bit more advanced than the cloud setup, and it has a lot more stuff you can do. But it's also not free. It is $60, but it's a one-time payment. And in my opinion, totally worth the money. And as you can see, I'm fully designing an edge lit sign in the software. And I'm cutting this out of 3mm clear acrylic. And when it comes to the text, I'm engraving that. And unlike diode lasers, CO2 lasers have no problem cutting any clear acrylic. And it leaves really clean edges too. But here's the sign with the paper removed and cleaned up. And if you put this into one of the light pucks, it should light up. And if I turn the lights off, it looks a lot better. It's just too bright in here. And you can make all kinds of signs using this. I just made this because it was the simplest one I could think of at the time. If you are using Lightburn, you're going to have to figure out your own settings. And these test cards are perfect for that. And I have links to these in the description of this video, and you can download them for free. And especially this engraving one comes in really handy, especially if you're trying to do something like paper. So I'm putting a honeycomb pattern into this piece of cardstock. And the reason why I'm doing this is because it will actually make a texture of the honeycomb into this because it's burning away some of the material. So now I could transfer that pattern from this paper onto this piece of copper using a rolling mill. 
and you can see how much it flattened out that spot on the paper. But now the copper has the pattern from the paper. And with the laser, you can technically make whatever patterns you want. And you don't have to actually design things in the library and software, you can do it elsewhere in Inkscape or Illustrator. So kind of like what I did to make my own wooden YouTube play button, seeing that this channel just hit 1,000 subscribers. And all the cutting and engraving came out just about perfect. That being said, I need to clean up a little bit of the smoke on the engraving parts. And this is easy enough to do, just using an alcohol wipe and wiping it all off. And to put everything together, I'm going to be using some glue from Starbond. I use the same glue for a lot of things, but it works really good on wood. I also made a working QR code that goes directly to the channel, just because. And I really do like how this thing came out with the different layers and the engraving. It just looks really clean to me. And I'm actually going to mount this on the wall next to the play button from my other channel. And I'm just going to set my QR code up in here too. So this is the pro version of this laser, so it came with a rotary setup as well, which is fully adjustable. And a really simple setup, it's basically just rollers that have some O-rings on them, and you can adjust the height on one side of it, so if the object you're engraving isn't completely flat or an odd shape, you can make up for it with this. And getting it set up in the machine is pretty straightforward. You have to remove your entire cutting area, and then just place the rotary unit inside of the cutout in the machine. And there is one wire that you need to plug in, you just feed this underneath the laser gantry and laser tube, and then move that entire part forward. And make sure your machine is off when doing all this. There's also a little switch back here to switch it to rotary mode, and here's the plug for it. So with that all plugged in, you're good to go. And you'd be able to do stuff like this. I didn't do this to this container, but this is how it's pretty much done. I honestly just don't have anything around that I want to engrave on right now. So as you've seen in this video so far, there's a lot of things you can make with this laser, and honestly, I'm barely even scratching the surface of what you can do with it. And you're also probably wondering what the pricing on something like this would be. And as you can see, it's definitely not cheap. So you're really going to need a reason to actually have one of these. And you could make a business around one of these, or use it in the business you already have, pretty much like what I'm doing. And if you look at their direct competition, which is the Glowforge, the GUI Cloud is going to be a much better bang for your buck over the Glowforge. Not to mention that the Glowforge machines only work when connected to the internet. So if your internet's ever not working, you can't use your laser, and if the company ever goes out of business or stops supporting this, you just have an expensive paperweight. And as you might be able to tell, I'm really against any hardware that is tied to cloud software only. And surprisingly, GWeek is not a new upstart company. They've been around for about 18 years, but they mostly make industrial laser cutters, like these crazy fiber lasers that can cut through steel, or really thick steel too. And the GWeek Cloud is pretty much the first consumer grade laser cutter that they're making. And I do want to be 100% transparent with everyone, this was sent to me free of charge. But with that said, all the thoughts on this machine in this video are my own. And if you've watched the video all the way until this part, check the description below. There is a discount code for about $200 off of one of these machines if you were looking into getting one. And if you have any questions about this machine or anything else, leave a comment below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Well, that's about it for this video. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.